Hi students, today's topic of discussion is hydrosphere. The earth is called the blue planet. More than 71% of the earth is covered with water and 29% is with land. Hydrosphere consists of water in all its form as running water in oceans and rivers and in lakes, ice in the glaciers, underground water and the water vapor in the atmosphere all comprise the hydrosphere. More than 97% of the earth's water is found in the ocean and is too salty for human use. A large portion of the rest of the water is in the form of ice sheet and glaciers or under the ground. And a very small percentage is available as fresh water for human use. Hence, despite being a blue planet, we face a shortage of water. Now, we'll discuss in details about oceans. Oceans are the major part of the hydrosphere. They are all connected. The ocean waters are always moving. The three chief movements of ocean waters are the waves, the ocean currents and the tides. So let us understand what is the difference between waves, currents and tides. When we talk about waves, waves are influenced by the action of wind on the surface of the ocean. When we talk about currents, currents are influenced by the heat from the sun on the equator and cooler poles. When we talk about tides, tides are caused by gravitational forces from the moon and the sun. So this was about the chief movements of ocean water. Now we'll talk about major oceans. The five major oceans are the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Southern Ocean and the Arctic Ocean in the order of their sizes. So the Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean. It is spread over one third of the earth. Marina Trench, the deepest part of the earth lies in the Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean is almost circular in shape. Asia, Australia, North America and South America surround the Pacific Ocean. Moving on to Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean is the second largest ocean in the world. It is S-shaped. It is flanked by North and South America on the western side and Europe and Africa on the eastern side. The coastline of Atlantic Ocean is highly indented. Indented coastlines are not smooth and have cuts or indents along its length. This irregular and indented coastline provides ideal location for natural harbor and ports. From the point of view of commerce, Atlantic Ocean is the busiest ocean. Okay, so the Atlantic Ocean is the busiest ocean. Moving on to Indian Ocean. The Indian Ocean is the only ocean named after a country that is India. The shape of the ocean is almost triangular. In the north, the Indian Ocean is bound by Asia, in the west by Africa, and in the east by Australia. Talking about Southern Ocean, the Southern Ocean encircles the continent of Antarctica and extends northward to 60 degrees south latitude. Then the fifth ocean that is the Arctic Ocean. The Arctic Ocean is located within the Arctic Circle and surrounds the North Pole. It is connected with the Pacific Ocean by a narrow stretch of shallow water known as Bering Strait. 
it is bound by northern coast of north america and eurasia eurasia means europe plus asia so this was about ocean movement of ocean water and the five major oceans so here we have completed the topic hydrosphere where we discussed that hydrosphere comprises of oceans rivers lakes ice in the glaciers underground water and water vapor in the atmosphere and we have discussed in details about oceans hope you like this video we will again meet in the next video very soon please like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching goodbye